Hi, my name is Miguel Cu. I am a PhD student at Vanderbilt University. I'm so happy to be here at the colloquium. I want to talk a little bit about my research, which focus on cultural implications for nutrition and guidelines in Guatemala in Quichemaya population. So Guatemala is a multicultural country in Central America, but also Guatemala has a huge problem that is the chronic malnutrition. Chronic malnutrition refers to that the children when they five years old uh, don't grow very well. We have a national average uh, of 50% of children only five years old have chronic malnutrition. So if we see this picture, the child in the right has uh, 105 centimeters of height. If we see uh, the child in the left, he has uh, 84 centimeters of height. That means that he does growing up very well. So he has chronic malnutrition. So Guatemala is a multicultural country with two main populations, the Maya population and the non-Maya population. Around 41% of people in Guatemala is Maya. And we have 22 Maya communities. Um, I focus in the big uh, population that is the Quiche Maya population. Um, if we see uh, the map in the corner left, we see a map with red color. This area is the area where uh, the chronic malnutrition in children is so highest. Uh, around in these communities, uh, have eight of 10 children only five years old with chronic malnutrition. And this area is the same area where the majority of my population lives. So one strategy uh, to approach the chronic malnutrition from the Minister of Health of Guatemala is the Guatemala Food Guidelines. It's a guidelines to promote healthy and nutritional food to all the people in Guatemala, to all the population. Uh, like US, US has uh, nutritional guidelines too, based on food, like the food pyramid and my plate. So this is a guidelines that based on um, biomedicine knowledge that focus on specific uh, nutrition issues. For example, uh, they understand food through the lens of nutritional that focus on carbohydrates, fat, protein, vitamins, and minerals, only chemical issues. But uh, in my communities in Guatemala, Food serves us more than a nutritional substance. Food is also the cornerstone of religious, cultural, and social lives. So uh, my research focuses in on the start the Kichemaya food categories and compare these ones with the Guatemala food guidelines with regards to language pragmatic. That means that the context of the communities uh, gives meaning to the food and cultural models. That means that the organization hierarchical and structural of indigenous knowledge and language provides meaning to the food groups. So for example, uh, we have uh, shapes uh, in the right, and these shapes we could uh, organize on categorize in triangles or in based on colors like yellow. So that is a uh, example how we could give meanings to the objects like food. So, so I have worked in the last two years in the Quiche Highlands of Guatemala uh, to iter in data through surveys, qualitative food diet records, uh, in deep interviews, and participatory observation. So essentially, I have uh, some data that refers that the Quiche Maya population have different food groups that uh, from that is different from the Guatemala food guidelines. For example, uh, Quiche Maya groups have two main uh, categories, wa, solid food, and then ha, drink food or liquid food. And then we have two subcategories. That is a wa, that is core-based food, like tortillas, tamales, etc., and riquil, that is, is um, side food for the main uh, group that is uh, 
core base food. So essentially, the Kichemaya population have two groups, wa and ha, solid food and drink. And then we have two subcategories uh, uh, under wa, the wa that is corn based food, and then the sides, the food that uh, is a site for the uh, corn based food. And then we have rikil and rasi, that is, is like other kinds of food that uh, is a site for the uh, for uh, corn based food. So that means that we have uh, different groups in the Kichemaya context and the Kichemaya language that is different to the nutritional guidelines. So the challenge here is like the nutritional and food guidelines in Guatemala is for all the population. That means that uh, they approach in Spanish. Um, they don't think in Maya communities, for example, how much these two groups, the Kichemaya groups and the uh, Guatemala food guidelines to promote a better uh, healthy uh, food patterns for the Kichemaya population. Because as we see previously, the nutritional and guidelines based on chemistry and biology issues and the Kichemaya food groups focus on the language and the corn-based food. So this thing have implication, how could cool only start nutritional and cultural issues to improve the nutritional status in Maya families in Guatemala with a huge problem like the chronic malnutrition. So another thing is like the indigenous language matter. The meaning of the food based on the language issues could provide a better approach to improve the nutritional and food guidelines to all the population, not only in the Maya population, the Maya population too. Uh, and this have global implication too, because in Latin America, we have a huge group of indigenous people like uh, Quechua's um, Mapuches. So for example, we need to understand this kind of uh, language and cultural issues in this context to provide a better uh, health and nutrition guidelines in all the population in Latin America. So this is my presentation. Thank you very much.